I'm Dr. Stream, a board certified family medicine sports medicine doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you two isometric exercises that has been proven to lower blood pressure by around like seven to 10 points top number and by around three to four points bottom number in a period of six to eight weeks. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first exercise that I want to talk about is called as the wall squat. So what I love about this exercise is that it not only works as an isometric exercise to lower blood pressure, but also strengthens your lower body. Plus, you don't need any special equipment to start doing it. So to perform the wall squat, find a wall and get ready for a challenge. For those of you who find this exercise difficult, then don't worry, I'll give you also an alternative exercise. So we're going to do four sets of the wall squat exercise with each set involving a two minute hold followed by two minutes of rest and repeat. Although this is going to be challenging, what I would encourage you to start with maybe one minute hold followed by two minute rest and then slowly build up to two minute hold. So let's start with the set one. So here I'm showing my first set of this wall squat exercise. So choose a knee joint angle that gives you a rate of perceived exertion of around 4.5 out of 10. So that will be a knee joint angle for the first set. And you're going to hold the isometric wall squat for two minutes. As you can see in this video here, I'm comfortable, but at the same time, I'm not completely fatigued yet. So this is a good rate of perceived exertion for me, and I'm choosing a knee joint angle based on that. Now for our second set, let's increase our rate of perceived exertion to around five to six out of 10. So basically you're going to choose an, a different knee joint angle to achieve that level of exertion. However, as you can see in the video, I'm actually choosing the same knee joint angle as I found the rate of perceived exertion was around like five to six out of 10 on my set point. So I'm basically continuing with the same knee joint angle for this particular set too. So now after a two minute rest, I'm moving on to set three. So this time I'm aiming for a rate of perceived exertion for around like 6.5 to 7.5 out of 10. So choose a different knee joint angle to achieve that level of exertion. As you can see in this video, I'm kind of slightly deeper compared to my set two, and that gives me a rate of perceived exertion of like 6.5 to 7.5 out of 10. So after two minute rest, let's move on to set four. So this is gonna be your final set and it's gonna be the hardest set. So try a different knee joint angle to achieve a rate of perceived exertion of around like eight to nine out of 10. So as you can see in this video here, I'm, I'm prepared for this set. I know this is gonna be the hardest set. I'm going to choose a knee joint angle of around like 95 to 90 degrees. I'm going to hold this isometric squat hold for almost two minutes. I've already put on my headset so that I don't get mental fatigue and don't give up. So basically this is gonna be a harder set, so just go for it. As you can see here in this video, my legs are almost shivering in the last 30 seconds. It's important to make sure that you focus on normal breathing without holding your breath as that can increase your blood pressure. So do this exercise four days a week and you should start seeing a drop in blood pressure within six to eight weeks. In addition, you'll also notice improved fitness and also strong glutes and quadriceps. Now, for those of you who cannot tolerate the wall squat exercise, I have an alternate exercise for you. The reason the wall squat exercise is my number one pick as an isometric exercise to lower blood pressure is because it's a good exercise to not only lower your blood pressure, but also helps to improve your fitness. Remember, we're trying to recruit a large group of muscles by doing a wall squat exercise, which means that our heart has to pump more blood flow to the muscles and thereby the heart also gets a good workout. In addition to that, it's a really good low body exercise. So let us say, if you do wall squat exercise four days a week, you've got a good low body exercise for this week. But as you can see, the wall squat exercise can be challenging for a lot of people. In that case, a hand grip exercise can be a good alternative for it. So to perform the hand grip exercise, you will need to invest on a hand dynamometer. So you can easily find one online like an Amazon. So before starting with the ex exercises, I would recommend a brief warm up. So maybe you can start with some wrist stretches. So basically you'll start with like a wrist extension stretch where you hold the stretch for 30 seconds. And after that you can do a wrist flexion stretch where you hold the stretch for 30 seconds. And after that you can probably do some wrist circle exercises for like 30 seconds. And after that you can find like a sponge ball and you can squeeze it for 30 seconds and then you relax. So this way you ensure that you warm up those muscles before starting with exercises. So I don't have a hand dynamometer with me, so I'm basically going to use uh, this hand grip tool and, um, and I'm going to show you what I would do with a hand dynamometer. So basically, assuming that this is a hand dynamometer, so you're going to find a reading as zero. So now after a good warm up, make sure that you take the hand dynamometer and you squeeze it really hard. So give you a maximum voluntary contraction for like a couple of seconds and then relax. So when you do that, you'll find a number. So that's your maximum voluntary contraction. So now what I would do is that to make sure it's accurate, I would take a five minute break and then after that again, take a hand dynamometer and then squeeze it really hard as much as possible and then relax and you'll find a number. 
So again, this is considered as your 100% maximum voluntary contraction. Now, based on that number, I'm going to calculate a 30% of the maximum voluntary contraction. So now we know the number for the 30% maximum voluntary contraction. So now you're going to take the hand dynamometer. And so let's assume that this is a hand dynamometer. And let us say I'm going to aim for that 30% uh, maximum voluntary contraction number. So I would just squeeze the hand dynamometer. And once I'm kind of reaching that number, then I'm going to uh, uh, keep that hold for two minutes straight. So I'll put a timer and keep that hold for two minutes straight. And after once that timer uh, beeps, then I would relax. Again, I would, I would take a two minute rest and again, do that again. So again, squeeze it and make sure that I'm aiming for a 30% maximum voluntary contraction. And then again, I'm going to squeeze that for like two minutes straight and after that relax. So again, take a two minute rest and I'm going to do this for four sets. But let us say if you don't want to invest in a hand dynamometer, you can basically just buy a hand grip tool like this. The only problem is with that, with this one is that, so let us say if I'm just going to think that, okay, this is my 100% voluntary contraction. So that's my 100% squeeze. So then I'm going to aim for a 30% squeeze. So for me, a 30% squeeze might be just this, right? So uh, it probably might be around like 30 to 50% or so, but now I'm going to um, put a timer and I'm going to hold the squeeze for like uh, two minutes straight. And then after the two minutes beep is over, then I'm going to relax. Again, take a two minute rest and again, do it again. So 30% MVC and just keep doing that and then relax. So again, do this exercise four times a week for six to eight weeks and you should start noticing changes in your blood pressure. So the two exercises I've showed you is one of the powerful exercises that can lower blood pressure and has been compared to other exercises like aerobic exercise and strengthening exercise. And studies have found that this particular exercise that I've showed you actually lower blood pressure number more than the other exercises. So even though this is considered as a powerful exercise, I still would not recommend relying solely on this exercise alone to lower your blood pressure and also to improve your health. And you'll find out why in this video. So I would highly recommend to check out this video here. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment box below. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.